We live in a technological world and harnessing science and technology to promote growth and to solve social problems has become a central goal of governments. At the same time, science and technology pose new problems and create new social and political challenges. This unit explores how the state became so closely involved in funding and in using science and technology, what problems have arisen out of this closer engagement, and the role of the broader public in all of this. We'll be looking at questions such as, what might the emergence of China as a scientific and technological powerhouse mean for a relatively small country like the UK? Should citizens have more of a say in what research their tax money gets spent on? Who should make decisions about the regulation of genetically modified organisms or hydraulic fracking? The politicians or the experts? And do big companies have too much influence over what science gets done and, and which findings are published? We'll begin the course by exploring the historical development of close ties between science and the state in Western developed economies such as the UK and the US. We'll look at the growth of big science, at pressures to focus resources on a few priority areas, and pressures to commercialise findings and demonstrate the wider value and impacts of research. We'll also examine the emergence of a globalised science system and the role of science in international relations. We'll then explore the roles and possible limitations of scientific expertise in public policy and regulation, and look at the broader relationship between science and the rest of us as citizens. Now this isn't a history of science, ethics or science communication course, but it is highly complementary to the USIL courses in those topics. And the issues we'll explore are arguably critical to citizenship in a modern democracy, yet they rarely surface in mainstream undergraduate science or engineering education. And at the same time, those studying social science or humanities subjects are rarely asked to apply insights from those disciplines to the place of science and technology in modern society. Governing and managing science and technology is a fundamental challenge, not just for public policymakers, but also for private firms and for non-profit organisations. And this course will provide insights that would be helpful in careers in public policy, in science communication and in public engagement. I look forward to meeting you on the course.